Finding and importing stock media for your clips is always a daunting task and can take away from your editing flow state. You've got to concept a video idea, browse various stock media websites, download the file, move the file, import it into your project and then your sequence, resize it, cut it at the right times. It can be a lot. I'm gonna show you how you can use Brevity Stock Media Tool to skip all of these steps and even have AI recommend the clips for you. Yeah, no, it's pretty crazy. So let's jump in. All right, so we have a sequence open here that's already been captioned using Brevity. This step is super simple and can be done in just one click. So be sure to check out the tutorial that I link in the description for more information on that. And as you can see, we've got some nice animated captions already. It's important, but it's always the hardest part because you get Captions allow us to place stock media inside of our sequence that's correlated to the words or dialogue that's being said with throughout the clip. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to show you guys how easy this is to use. I'm going to go ahead and click on this stock media tool and then let's go ahead and find a section inside of our clip that we want to add some stock media for. I'm going to go ahead and let's do because you've got to build a culture and you've got to put people in the seats that are going to get the job done. So I'm going to click and drag over this selection. Brevity is going to go ahead and find a search query or a word that we can use to search stock media for that's relevant to that selection that we made. Inside of that selection that we made, they're talking about culture and the AI has identified culture as a good search query to go ahead and browse this media for. So let's walk through this interface a little bit. Right here we have the search box that allows us to search through different stock media providers. And below that we have these four different toggles that allow us to browse various stock media providers. So right now it's set to Pexels. Pexels is a free stock video provider that can be used in commercial projects. Next to that we have emojis. So this is a full emoji library. Again, can be used in commercial projects. And then next to that, we have gifts from Giphy and then also stickers from Giphy, which are basically gifts with transparent backgrounds. We're also going to be adding more stock media providers inside of here. So if you have any requests, just drop a comment down below and we'll be sure to implement it. Below that, we have all of the results that are returned from our search query and the filter. And at the top here, we have a section that allows us to choose the fit of the media when we import it. So this is going to be how the stock media is resized to fit inside of our sequence. If we drop this down, you can see that we have top, center, bottom, full screen, fit screen top, fit screen center, fit screen bottom, above captions, below captions, person aware. So plenty of different options that allow you to choose how you want the clip to actually be imported inside of your sequence. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's click on full screen here. Let's go back to Pexels and maybe none of these are really doing it for me. I'm gonna go ahead and search up team instead. And now I've got some better results here. Maybe we want to do this one right here. So I'll click on select. Brevity is going to download the media file and put it in a new folder that's right next to our Premiere Pro project. And it's also going to import it into our sequence, resize it to fit the selected fit that we had chosen and cut it so that it's correlated to this exact selection that we just chose here. Go ahead and give us a preview. You got to build a culture and you got to put people in the seats that are going to get the job done in the early stages. This just saved us so many steps and allows us to focus on the creative side of editing instead of all the repetitive housekeeping tasks that normally come with importing and using stock media. So if you want to adjust the timing of this clip, all that you need to do is just hover over one of these handles and then just click and drag to where you want it to start. And as soon as you do that, it's going to retime it inside of our sequence. Super easy. Now let's go through and add in a few more clips just to show you guys how fast this really is to use. Go ahead and find another section that we want to add some media for. Let's do this section right here. So we'll click and drag, let's come up with the search term world class. So let's go ahead and browse Pexels. Maybe we want to find another team. Go ahead and search up team and we want to do this one right here. Uh, let's set the fit to be full screen again, click on select and it's immediately going to download that file, import it into our sequence, resize it and time it so that it's correlated to this selection that we made inside of our transcript here. Go through and find some more. Maybe we want to do this section right here. It was a developer building the product. Let's find the word developer. Let's go ahead and click on stickers this time. And maybe we want to do this guy right here. Have him be at the full screen, fit screen top. That sounds good. Click on select. Awesome. Just imported like that. Super simple. Maybe we want to do one more here of this section right here. 
gone through and chosen developer again. Let's choose some gifts here this time. Instead of fit screen top, let's just do top. And we'll do this guy right here. I want to edit the fit for one of these clips. We can go ahead and just click on one of these thumbnails and it's going to open it up in the media browser again. We can choose a different fit here. Maybe we wanted him to be full screen instead. Go ahead, click on update. It's going to update that for us to be full screen. If we don't want to have a clip in here anymore, we can go ahead and hover over this, click on delete. Super simple. Maybe we want to swap this clip out for a different one. Go back to Pexels maybe. Let's choose this guy right here. Go ahead and click on select. It's going to go ahead and download that, import it into our sequence and resize it. So super simple to use. This is like the quickest way to import and use stock media inside of your sequences. One last thing, if you don't want to wait for the search query to be returned from you from AI, you can go ahead and go to the settings here and you can detoggle this query AI for new media selection. And this will allow you to just start searching right away as soon as you make the selection, instead of waiting for the AI to return a suggested search query for you. All right, so if we don't wanna go through and manually identify these sections to add stock media for, we can actually use AI to do the whole thing for us. So let's go ahead and click on either suggest clips or suggest emojis. AI is going to go through and identify a bunch of different sections inside of our transcript here that can be represented by a specific emoji. It's gone through and it's identified 18 different sections inside of our clip that can be represented by a specific emoji. And if we take a look at these, they're actually like really creative, great suggestions. So right here, the suggestion is the business is not going to get anywhere. We have this little like X emoji. Below that we have, because you've got to build a good culture and you've got to put people. So we have like this people emoji and then saying put people in the right seats to get the job done. We have a seat emoji. So super great emoji suggestions here. And we can either import these by going ahead and hovering over them and clicking on the import or we can delete them. So right now these are all blinking because they're pending. So that means that, hey, these have been suggested, but they haven't been imported into our sequence yet. Now, if we want to import all of these automatically, we can just go ahead and click on import pending. Brevity has gone through, it's imported all of these straight into our sequence here, and they're all timed and resized appropriately. So the default fit when you're suggesting emojis is going to be above captions. Just like the other stock media items, we can go ahead and adjust these as much as we want. We can go ahead and click on them and change them out for different GIFs or different emojis if we would like. Uh, super easy to use, super easy to do. And again, it's just going to update automatically. There I had the fit set to bottom, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this above captions again and hit update. Now it's gonna go ahead and update that to be right above the captions here. Sweet. So let's go ahead. We can always add more suggestions too. If we don't think that we got enough emojis here, we can click on suggest emojis again, or we can go ahead and click on suggest clips. So let's try that out. Awesome. So it's gone through and suggested seven different sections for some stock media clips inside of our transcript here. We can go ahead and just click on this to take a look at what it's suggesting here. Uh, so right now this is suggesting something to do with office culture. That looks pretty good to me. So I'll go ahead and click on update. That's going to import it straight into our sequence here. And as you can see, I had that actually set to above captions. So let's go ahead and open that up again. Go ahead and click on full screen, click update. Awesome. Let's go through and click on import pending again so we can get the rest of the stock clips imported straight into our sequence as well. We just imported all of those straight into our timeline here. And they're also going to be represented inside of the transcript editor in brevity. Give this a quick preview, see what we're working with here. You don't have a great team. The business is not going to get anywhere and that's always the hardest part so it's the most important but it's always the hardest part because you, you got to build a culture and you got to put people in the seats that are going to get the job done in the early stages it's very intense it takes its toll so just like that we had all of these awesome recommendations presented to us by ai we got the recommended emojis imported the recommended clips and all of this was done in just a couple of clicks saving so much time without having to go through and manually identify all of these sections, download the footage, do all the housekeeping just to get it inside of your sequence. This tool automates the whole thing for you. It's crazy. I've been using the media tool here in Brevity to import and suggest stock media and emojis for my own content. And holy shit, it saves so much time. Being able to skip all the processes of downloading files from websites, moving them around in my hard drive, importing them, cutting them up, resizing them, 
it's just awesome to skip all of that and focus just on creating. We're also adding a bunch of more features to the Brevity Media tool here soon, like AI generated images, being able to access your own local media files, and also a bunch of other stock media providers. So if there's other features that you want to see, please leave a comment down below and we'll be sure to integrate them. There's a bunch of other Brevity features that I didn't get a chance to cover in this video, like the auto cut feature, the animated captions, translating to different languages. All of those video tutorials can be found down below. So again, make sure to check those out as well. Well, thanks so much for watching. I hope you all learned some stuff and have a nice day.